Hello and welcome to this slightly different video and this is the game in history tag video. I was nominated by SZ Petty and the the game is that I have to say what got me into gaming. So this is that video. This is the short video about what got me into gaming with the tags and all that kind of thing. So I'm going to go right back to the beginning, probably way before many of you were playing games or even around but anyway i used to play a game called dizzy and this was a classic game on the amstrad system this was one of the very first actual games that i owned and played seriously it's pretty basic but you know gameplay was there had a good objective it was difficult and it was basic platformer but i really enjoyed it after that at one christmas i got a master system and on that master system we had alex kid now that was one game which I remember I spent months, literally months, playing. Again, another basic platform game, but it was really difficult, you know, it took a lot, a lot of time to get through because when you died, you didn't have a save game, you didn't have an option, you had to play all the way through from the beginning again, no matter how far you got, and it wasn't a small game. On the same system, we actually got another game called Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon's Trap. Now, this is probably one of my first sort of serious steps into gaming, if you know what I mean. Um, before that, it was just platformers that I really enjoyed, like Alex Kidd and Dizzy, but Wonder Boy 3 had a bit of a storyline. So the idea was that you were a hero, and you are a hero who went to fight a dragon, and the dragon cursed you when you killed it. And it cursed you to become a lizard man. And the rest of the game was based on you finding a way to become the hero again. Collecting coins, buying better equipment, killing more dragons and all that kind of thing. Really, really good. And you got save codes. And I actually had a little play with this a little bit earlier on. And I still remember the, the cheat code. The one code which you could get everything with. And I don't think I'm ever going to forget that. That's going to be stuck in my head to a dying day. Now, not long after that, maybe a year or so, I actually received a Sega Mega Drive, or what you may know as a Sega Genesis over in America. And on that game, I got really into the Sonic series. And yeah, Sonic and Knuckles 3, or Sonic 3 and Knuckles. If you know what I mean, you know the one which had the extra cartridge and you plug the two together and you put them in the game. That was, in my opinion the best Sonic game which ever happened. <laughs> it was absolutely fantastic. I could play that game and by the end of like the third level on it I had everything, all of the emeralds. I was hypersonic and all sorts of things. But yeah, that was definitely a top favourite game of mine. Now not long after that I sort of changed my tack a little bit and I started playing a game called Mortal Kombat, which you probably all know now. Um, but I'm talking about the classic series. I got in on Mortal Kombat 1, 2 and 3. And I think Mortal Kombat 3 was the one which really took it off for me. That was the good one because it had lots and lots of new features. Mortal Kombat 2 had lots of hidden features and I got really into that, got all the combos down. You know, people wouldn't play me if I was playing Sub-Zero. That was one of the things. <laughs> it just wasn't allowed. So yeah, Mortal Kombat series. Fantastic game back in the day. I tried some of the newer versions. It just didn't feel the same. It wasn't the same history and depth and all that kind of thing. So, yeah, after that, I think the last game that I played seriously was the Discworld games. Now, if you've heard of those, it's um, Discworld 1 and 2. I don't know what they're called. Is it a point and click? I'm not sure. You sort of walk around, you pick up items, you solve puzzles, you spend a lot of time finding out what happens in the particular scenario in the story and you have to talk to a lot a lot of people collect a lot a lot of things go back and forth dozens of times really complicated game but that's yeah that was one of my favorites of all time um i couldn't actually get the game running on my pc so i just thought i'd give you a few pictures of it so you got an idea of the kind of game that it was it was quite nice graphics for what it was at the time and of course, after that, I had a very long gap where I wasn't really playing games in any kind of serious manner at all. That is until Minecraft. And I actually got into Minecraft around about 1.7.8. So I'm kind of new to Minecraft. There's a lot of people out there who I know who have been doing this for a heck of a lot longer. I know Madcat, my friend on the existence server, he's been playing since pre-alpha. So in, in dev, basically. <laughs> It's a very long time, and other people I know out there have been playing, you know, crazy long amount of time on this, and I'm I'm just a newbie, but, you know, 
really love this game. It's got so much depth, so much, so many options, and a really great community. The community is exactly what makes Minecraft the best game ever, um, because you've got a great community out there. Everyone's supportive, everyone's helpful, everyone's working in the same direction. It's all about creating, and I think that's the fantastic thing about Minecraft. So there you go, that is my gaming history and what got me into gaming. Obviously ending up at Minecraft, and by then I was pretty solidly into gaming, but Minecraft really sort of brought me back in. So, as part of this, I'd like to nominate three people to make videos. So, I'd like to nominate Wild Trekker on the New Riverdor server, Bionic Sun, New Riverdor again, and Captain Obvious. Now, Captain Obvious is an old friend of mine. He's known me since I first started out YouTubing. And I know he's going to do a really good video on this because he knows his games. He's got a lot of history. I know he's got a few series on these things already. So I really want to see what he comes up with. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and see you again soon.